Hello, it's Mr. Primer, and right now I'm going to show you uh, one more cool thing you can do in Stellarium. I'm going to show you how to look at the whole solar system at once. Um, not from the perspective of Earth, but from a perspective uh, pretty far away. So what you're going to do is, first of all, we're going to turn off the ground so that we can see a full 360 view of space. Um, then you're going to change a few settings in the sky and viewing options. You're going to turn off the atmosphere um, and you're going to show planet markers and also planet orbits, which looks a little bit messy now, but it will look cool. You're also going to turn off dynamic eye adaptation as well. So that should be good for that. Then we need to get far away. We need to get off planet Earth. So the way that we do that, we're going to search for something called solar system observer you see that it pops up there when you search for it so solar system observer uh, you put that into your search window and you click on it um, then we're going to make it our home planet by going control G so click control G and all of a sudden it zoomed us to that space um, so it's pretty far away from our solar system enough for us to uh, get a good look at um, our solar system so let's see how far away it is if we click the sun so we're about uh, 6,700 uh, AU away from the sun uh, right now so we're gonna zoom up on the sun press spacebar to zoom up on it and now you can see um, some of the orbits of the different planets okay so we can keep orbiting closer and you really get a sense of how close the inner planets are to the sun compared to the outer gas giant planets. Um, you zoom in closer so that um, we have Mars in the field of view. So what we can do to see um, the um, planets moving around the sun is we can speed up here. Whoa, a little too fast, so you can just go like that. So there we go. So uh, you can see the speed that the different planets are moving relative um, to each other. And, uh, and Kepler uh, made a bunch of observations. He made a bunch of planetary laws. Um, and this demonstrates um, some of those. And I won't go into too much detail, but basically the closer you are to the sun, the quicker you are. So you can see that Mercury is moving a lot faster than Venus. Venus is moving a lot faster than Earth. Earth is moving a lot faster than Mars. And I want you just to think about it and think about why that might be. Um, and to think about that, you could think, why are the planets orbiting around the Earth in, or sorry, <laughs> they're not orbiting around the Earth, around the Sun in the first place? Why do they go around the Sun? Um, so you can think about that. I'm not going to give away those answers right now, but those are just some things to think about. You can also look at um, if the planets are going around the Sun in a perfect circle or if it's slightly elliptical um, and you can zoom out a little bit and you can see that the other planets Jupiter is going a lot slower and it's kind of making a big mess there I don't really know what's going on with that you can zoom out even further see Saturn so this is all to scale of how far away things are to the Sun so we're super close to the Sun compared to Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and further out and then Neptune here and this big one would be Pluto which as we know is only a dwarf planet poor Pluto okay so we can get things going a lot quicker here and we can see things going around um, maybe a little too fast but you can see compared compared to the um, so right now you can see inner planets just whirling around and Jupiter and Saturn taking a long time to go around. So that is a cool function of Stellarium that I thought would be good to know about.